The world of AI assistance has become a familiar battleground with tech giants like Google and Amazon constantly innovating. Consumers are used to assistants that can answer questions, play music, and control smart home devices. But Rabbit, a newcomer to the scene, just dropped a bombshell with their latest offering. Their new AI assistant, simply called the Rabbit R1, is not just another voice-activated helper. It's a game-changer that's left the industry in shock. Believe me, you will love all the features. The launch of Rabbit One. At CES 2024, Jesse Liu, the founder and CEO of Rabbit Inc., a new AI startup, introduced the R1, a pocket-friendly gadget that comes with a virtual assistant. You can carry it around and interact with it by giving voice commands. What makes this assistant special is that it can learn and perform various digital tasks based on what you teach it. R1 uses a mix of big language models to understand what you want and carry out your requests, thanks to OpenAI's ChatGPT and large action models made by Rabbit Inc. The R1 AI Assistant simplifies the way you complete tasks. Normally, you might need to pull out your smartphone, find the right app, and navigate through it to get something done. With the R1, you just press a push to talk button and ask it to do the task for you. This is made possible by automated scripts called Rabbits that handle the tasks, allowing you to continue with your day without interruptions. The R1 is a compact red-orange square device, roughly the size of a stack of post-it notes. It was designed with the help of the Swedish company Teenage Engineering, known for its innovative and stylish product designs. The R1's small size and ease of use make it a convenient tool for streamlining daily activities. The R1 device has a 2.88-inch touchscreen located on the left side. To the right of this screen, there is an analog scroll wheel for navigation. Above the scroll wheel, there is a special camera called the Rabbit Eye. This camera can rotate a full 360 degrees. When the camera is not being used, it faces either up or down, which acts as a built-in privacy shutter to protect your privacy. Rabbit Assistant Features and Capabilities The Rabbit Eye camera is versatile, allowing you to use it as both a selfie camera and a rear camera this means you can easily switch between taking photos of yourself and capturing what's in front of you. You can also use the Rabbit Eye for video calls, though it is not designed to function like a traditional smartphone camera. Instead, its main purpose is to offer flexibility and privacy in various uses, including video communications. The camera on the R1 is equipped with vision-powered AI, which allows it to understand and process what it sees. During a live demonstration, Liu showed how this feature works. He pointed the R1's camera at a printed spreadsheet. After taking a photo, he asked the device to swap the placement of two columns in the spreadsheet and to send him a copy of the updated version. Within seconds, Liu received an email on his computer with a digital version of the spreadsheet. The columns had been swapped as requested. This demonstration showed how the R1 can quickly and accurately convert physical documents into digital formats and make real-time edits, showcasing the powerful capabilities of its vision-powered AI. The R1 has a 4G LTE SIM card slot, meaning it can stay connected to the internet on its own without needing to pair with your phone or any other device. Additionally, you can connect the R1 to a Wi-Fi network if you prefer. The R1 is equipped with a USB-C port for charging. The company claims that the device can last all day on a single charge. This should make it convenient for use throughout the day without needing frequent recharges. R1 is not designed to replace your smartphone or function like one. You can't use it to watch movies or play games. Instead, its purpose is to handle simple, everyday tasks for you like a personal assistant. Let's say you're using R1 and you need to get an Uber ride. All you have to do is press and hold the push to talk button and say, get me an Uber to the Empire State Building. R1 will take a moment to understand what you said, and then it will show you some cards on the screen with details like the fare for your ride. After that, it'll go ahead and request the ride for you. This same process works for lots of different things. For example, if you want to book a table at a restaurant, buy a plane ticket, or add a song to your Spotify playlist, you can just use the push to talk button and tell R1 what you want. The thing about the R1 is that it doesn't come with any apps already installed on it. It also doesn't connect to any outside apps through APIs, 
which are like doorways that let apps talk to each other and share information. There are no extra add-ons or accounts to connect through either. Instead, RabbitOS works as a middleman. You can use a web portal to turn on access for specific apps. It's like flipping a switch to let certain apps in without needing all the extra stuff that usually comes with them. There's a web page called the Rabbit Hole that has links for logging into different accounts like OpenTable, Uber, Spotify, DoorDash, and Amazon. If you click on one of these links, you'll be asked to sign in. By doing this, you're giving RabbitOS permission to do things on your connected account for you. The R1 has some cool features built right into it. For example, you can take notes on the device and then access them later through the rabbit hole web portal. Not only that, but you can also edit those notes right from the portal. It's so convenient. This device is also great for translations. You can easily translate things with it as they showed live on stage during the presentation. If you need to understand something in a different language, the R1 has got you covered. If you prefer voice recordings, you can do that too. Then you can access the recording as a WAV file through the web portal. Plus, you can even get an AI summary of what was said in the recording. And when you need to type something into the device, like a Wi-Fi password, there's a virtual keyboard built right in. The best part about Rabbit Inc.'s R1 is that it doesn't keep any of your login details for other services you use. When you log in to other apps or websites through R1, all the authentication happens directly on those services' login systems. Plus, you can disconnect R1's access whenever you want and delete any information it might have stored. Another great thing about R1 is that it doesn't have to constantly listen to everything you say, like other voice assistants. This means it doesn't need a wake word to start listening. The microphone on R1 only turns on and records what you say when you press that button. You have more control over when R1 is listening, which can help protect your privacy. We're all familiar with talking to our devices these days, like asking Siri or Google Assistant to do tasks for us, like sending texts or playing music. But Rabbit uniquely does things. It is designed to handle more than just simple tasks. It can manage complicated errands with real-time interactions. For example, Rabbit can help with things like researching travel plans and booking the best option for your schedule and budget. It can also assist with adding items to a virtual grocery store cart and then taking care of all the steps needed to check out and pay for them. One of the most exciting features of large action models in the R1 is the teach mode. This feature isn't available yet, but it's coming soon in an update. Here's how it works. You just point the R1's camera at your computer screen or phone and then do something you want the R1 to learn. For example, in Lou's demonstration, they showed how to remove a watermark in Adobe Photoshop. Once your rabbits learn the task, you can then press a button and ask your R1 to do the same thing. This feature is useful for automating niche tasks that you don't want to do manually every time. Liu and his team also taught a rabbit how to play the video game Diablo 4. They showed all the tricks to fight enemies and stay healthy in the game. The idea is that you could ask a rabbit to create a character and level it up for you in the game. This means you wouldn't have to spend a lot of time doing repetitive tasks in the game which can be kind of boring. The R1 is $199 and is currently available for purchase. However, you should also consider the cost of a monthly cellular connectivity plan, which you will need to set up yourself to use the 4G LTE feature. The future of R1 Assistant. 50 years from now, Liu envisions a future where the R1 is remembered as the device that kickstarted a revolution in technology. The company's mission is to create the simplest computer possible. The R1 represents the first step in this journey. Liu's vision includes continuous improvement and expansion beyond the R1, leading to even more advanced and accessible technology. The company assures us that they have many more features planned for the future. In summer, we can look forward to getting an alarm clock, a calendar, a contacts list, GPS, memory recall assistance, and help with planning trips among other things. They are also working on integrating Amazon Music and Apple Music into their system. Later on, they plan to include even more services from other companies like Airbnb, Lyft, and OpenTable. These integrations will make their product even more useful and convenient for users, providing a wide range of services all in one place. Now, all these features fully describe a phone, 
But Rabbit's vision goes beyond just using a phone. They're thinking about a future where you can talk to your computer and it understands you without needing to swipe through different apps. At the launch event, Rabbit hinted at a new gadget, a wearable device that can figure out what you're pointing at, like a Nest thermostat, and let you control it without even having to say Nest or thermostat. They showed a blurry picture of this device, so we don't know a lot about it yet. Imagine this, you're in your living room and it's a bit too warm. Instead of having to say, hey Nest, can you lower the temperature? You could just point at the thermostat with this wearable gadget and it would understand what you want and do it for you. It's fascinating to think about how this wearable could make life even easier and more convenient. Liu also talked about generative user interfaces that give you the power to design your interface however you like. You can place buttons on the screen wherever you want them and make them the perfect size for you. This would give users more control and make using computers more personalized. Additionally, Liu mentioned that they are working on a new desktop operating system called Rabbit OS. This operating system is said to be built with artificial intelligence in mind from the start. Unfortunately, there aren't many details available yet. We'll have to wait and see how it turns out and what features it will offer. It's an exciting idea that could potentially change how we interact with computers in the future. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.